gratitude can it help relationships last and does it keep you more humble and grounded and ultimately is it the secret to happiness let's talk about it so i think it's important before we even dive into this conversation to better understand and first kind of talk about what gratitude means. Right. So to get into that definition, it is the quality of being grateful to show appreciation for and to return kindness. So now that we understand the definition of gratitude, now we can dive into it and talk more deeper on gratitude and to answer these questions that we pose, whether gratitude is one beneficial to a relationship, does it keep you more grounded? And ultimately, is it the secret to happiness? So, Amen. So let's get into it. Let's get into the first question yeah. that we posed. Mm -hmm. Can gratitude help relationships last? I would say 100% yes, mm -hmm. because it's easy to show gratitude that first year or that okay. second year mm -hmm. in your relationship. But to show it year in and year out, year 10, year 20, mm -hmm. and be able to have that gratitude for your partner and never lose that sense of gratefulness. Mm hmm for your partner, I think that is a quality that is really important for the longevity of a relationship. Of the relationship, yeah. I think that too, I do think that gratitude is very important in a relationship because like you said, it's, it can be fun and exciting in the beginning. And I think that people may mistake that as being gratitude when it's really just excitement and thrills and stuff right. like that. But are you just enjoying those moments because they're new and excited? Or are you truly grateful for these experiences yeah. that, that you have with this person? And I don't know. So, it, you know, oh, go ahead. I mean, that that's actually a good way you break it down because that makes me think a little bit more about gratitude. It, it's deeper than just appreciating your partner. It's actually yeah. like, wow, I'm, I'm grateful that this yeah. person is in my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even if there is hardships that come along the mm -hmm. way or if there's mm -hmm. obstacles that happen mm -hmm. throughout the journey, the sense of gratitude that you have for your partner is a deep level of respect and honor and mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. that just is, is deeper than just, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time with this partner. And this is exactly and this is just who, you know, this is yeah. somebody that I like. I agree. And I also think that gratitude is so important because yes it's like you said it's the good times and showing your appreciation and your love but it's what also keeps you going through those challenging times right. you know it humbles you and it reminds you of things to be grateful for when things aren't going so well right. to be able to still show appreciation to your partner show appreciation and kindness to yourself and be ready to return it and give it give it to others even when your circumstances aren't the best and i think so that's where it does really make you think because in the beginning, yes, there's these new things, but generally in the beginning, there's usually all good things. Like you right. aren't really hit with a challenge uh -huh. or you're hit with um, just things that will make you even question why you're, what you're thankful for. And to mm -hmm. flip it on the other spectrum, mm -hmm. when you do lose that gratification mm -hmm. for your partner, that's when things can really turn sour in mm -hmm. a relationship because... Once you're not grateful for your partner and you're not really respecting them mm -hmm. the, the way that you once did mm -hmm. and you're not looking at them the way that you once did, mm -hmm. that's when feelings get lost yeah. and you start to either just mm -hmm. not care as much mm -hmm. and just like lose some love for that person. Mm -hmm. But when you have a true sense of gratitude for your partner, mm -hmm. it's really a sense of deep love. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps you going through yeah. good times and the bad times. Yeah. And I think it goes into what we were saying about does he keep you grounded? And, mm. I, and I do, because let's say you and your partner have a disagreement about picking the kids up from school. You know, one person feels like they're doing it more than the other and it causes this whole disagreement. Things may seem a little difficult in that moment, but you can always just reflect back on it and be like, OK, yes. We're not really seeing eye to eye with this certain topic, 
But I'm so grateful that I have a husband who has such a great work ethic. I'm grateful for how kind he is to me. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for how good he is with the children. I'm grateful for him cooking dinner every night. I'm grateful for all of these things. So I think that when you do have challenging moments, it's good to reflect back on the moments that you are grateful for. And it makes it makes tackling the conversation not as seeming impossible that right. you, you're you not going to be able to get on the same page. So I do think that it can help a relationship last. Yeah, exactly. So I agree with everything that you said. Now, moving forward on the second question that we pose mm -hmm. is, does gratitude keep you humble and more grounded? I think it does. I think absolutely, actually, because when you have a sense of gratitude, you're never taking for granted those small victories. Yeah. You're never forgetting where you come from. Mm -hmm. And here at Humble Beginnings to Winning, we never lose a sense of who we are, where we come from, the struggles that we have endured and beating the odds along the way to the point where now we are in a place where we're having a little bit of success. Mm -hmm. financial success, relationship success, but we don't ever take for granted any of the small victories mm -hmm. that we've gotten along the way, individually and together. Mm -hmm. And us always staying grounded in the foundation that we've created and the foundation of our upbringing, it keeps us level-headed, it keeps us humble, and losing that sense of gratitude is something that happens sometimes when people... Mm -hmm get some success this is what we promote you know we want people to win right but as you're winning you never want to lose sight of all those moments that you prayed to just get to that milestone yeah. you know take a minute to reflect and just be like wow I remember when I really wanted x y and z and I worked so hard to to win in my marriage to win professionally to win spiritually and I don't want to lose sight of that by just being like, all right, on to the next one. Celebrate those moments, you mm. know, really cherish it because there was a time when you didn't have it. You know, right. there was a time when you didn't have it and you you really wanted it. And now you have it and you have to celebrate those victories, no matter the size, because a, a win is a win. A win is a win. Yeah. Wow. That's a really good point, mm -hmm. because I was kind of going on the spectrum of like, you reach a, a level of success that mm -hmm. you've already achieved mm -hmm. and then you kind of get big headed, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like you, you get cocky with it. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. And yeah. some people do, they get mm -hmm. cocky with it and they're like, you know what, man, like in a, in a, nothing can break me. I'm, yeah. you know, like I'm at the top. I'm, uh -huh. I'm good. I don't have to worry about X, Y, and Z. Right. Because life is good. Yeah. yeah. And, and the spectrum that you posed is also another another aspect of gratitude mm -hmm. where it's more so like, okay, yeah, I did reach a, le a level of success and I worked hard to get that, mm -hmm. but celebrate the small wins mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you don't want to work so hard to the point where you're forgetting what you worked hard for. Exactly. That's exact, or you just that's, like, that's the point that you were making. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. That was the point that I was making. And also saying like, okay, I have this, but now I want more and right. now I want more. And it's good to, you know, stop and smell the roses. Yeah. Yeah. Now that kind of gets me to the third and final question. Okay. Is gratitude the secret to happiness? I wouldn't necessarily say that it is like the secret to happiness, the end all be all, but I do think that it is a key component to happiness. Mm, I mm. think that it certainly contributes to one's happiness. There, there are a lot of factors that can make someone happy. You right. know, it's, I feel like happiness is a little relative because it can be defined differently for people. But I think that when you have moments where either you're doing well or you're not doing so well, you can always fall back on gratitude and just to be so thankful for the things that you do have, you know, thankful yeah. for um, things that we take for granted. Gratitude is being thankful for just having all of your five senses, having mm. a roof over your head, you know, having the opportunity and the means to take your children on vacation, to right. take yourself on vacation. So I think that, you know, People can define it in many different ways, but I think that gratitude definitely plays a component because whenever you may be feeling some way, you can always, always reflect back on the good that you have. And that will 
genuinely get you through the tough times. Man. See, sometimes we are on the same wavelength yeah. because that's exactly what I was going to say when mm-hmm. you were talking about the five senses. Oh, I think okay. y- even just that alone, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, it's so easy to take for granted. Yeah. Having a sense of gratitude and mm-hmm. a sense of faith, I think, is one of the key components to happiness because yep. as soon as you lose that gratitude and you start looking at life sour, then everything is going to be sour in your life because there's no gratefulness. There's no appreciation Mm -hmm. there. And then you're unable to maybe accept kindness in great in great moments when it comes your way because you're not in a state of gratitude right and then also you're not able to share it with other people because exactly if you're not feeling uh grateful or in a state of gratitude then it might be like you said you may have a skewed perception a little bit of what's going on so it's hard for you to then share kindness with people or to receive it people may be wanting to you know push some good things your way but you might be rejecting it just because of the the state that you're in exactly Mm -hmm. so the moral of the story that we want to draw some conversation around and just have you thinking you know is just are you grateful are you grateful in life are you grateful for the things that you have Are there people in your life that you are grateful for? I think these are the type of questions that you have to ask yourself and you have to be real with yourself. So we really hope that you guys enjoyed the questions that we posed today. And we really just encourage you guys, even during the bad times, to just reflect and be in a state of gratitude and never forget about what you work so hard to get to. And with that said, I'm Jen. I'm Shane. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Enjoy the journey. Bye.